All right. Here's why I haven't made any videos in the last couple months. Broken leg! Broken man! Broken truck. Broken race car! Broken house. Broken car. Also, I've had like way more important things to do. It's early. The sun is just coming up. And I've been voluntold to go get a tugboat. So we're gonna go get a tugboat. Welcome to Day on the Tugboat Volume 2. This time we travel across the Gulf of Mexico. Made it to the dock. Doesn't look like anyone else is here. Bad habit of showing up early. Yeah, boy, we're riding in style today. Yeah, soccer mom status. Fuck yeah. Her glory in your river. So she's 86 feet long, I think. And it has the basic shape of a bathtub. New River. We come along this way to the galley where we will be cooking our meals, where we will be storing our food, where we will be sitting. Then there's a new type of hell. This is, uh, I've been told, the engineer stateroom. And then door to the outside. Door to the captain's stateroom. Door to the shower, and then door to the uh, head. Uh, I need to fix that light. And then here we have door to the outside. Down this way. That's how you get to the bridge. Over here. That's where you drive from. So. Ow, God damn it. That's the bow, technically. But you can see better going that direction. Alright, this is a home sweet new home. Uh, this is a weird fucking boat. We have an engine on one side, and a Z drive. If you come over here, we have an engine on the same side. Another Z drive. So I guess it's kind of like a ferry. Generators on opposite sides. We have a fancy alarm panel. A little baby fuel manifold. Little baby day tank. Little baby fuel transfer pump. All right, we got our first major problem. We left for the night and uh, show back up here. Toilets won't flush. We're out of water. The sight glass doesn't work. It shows two inches of water. But uh, this pump here is hot as a fucking pistol. It's been running all night. This gauge doesn't work because we have no water pressure in that 
should be zero or at least close to it. So I gotta go hunt down like hundreds of feet of hose to try and take some water on from the fucking shipyard here. So I might have to replace a pump, which is gonna be no fun. I have other things I need to be doing right now. Welcome to the new boat. Please enjoy your stay. <sighs> Alright, so the seals in that pump are they're on their way out now that you're around all night. But it does make 40 pounds of pressure still, so it'll be good enough for this trip. It'll probably be good enough until I can get a new one. So that sucks, but you know, you gotta deal with gotta deal with that sometimes. Moving on. The uh, boat's out of the water. So we can inspect the bottom. It's very, very flat. Very, very UFO-like. This is a Z drive. It's huge. Despite the fact that this boat is In a relative sense, fairly new. It's pushing 30. It's still a pain to work on, and shipyards still have no respect for your equipment. This tank could have gone anywhere, literally anywhere. This engine room is huge, but they had to put it right next to the engine, and they had to put all the hydraulics right on top of it. It's a reservoir, it doesn't have to be exactly where hydraulics are. We redid the cooling system on this last year, I think. And they put new tube and shell coolers inside it. And then they put these soft lines. They could have put a 90 right here. And then had a straight shot over to this. Instead, they added as many fittings as possible uh, for their 15% upcharge or whatever. Which is fine, I don't care. Here's my issue. I need to add oil to this tank. The sight glass shows it's low. I can't get a bucket up here. There's too much shit in the water. I also can't get a funnel up here. Because there's a hydraulic line in the way. So, it just it never ends. Even on a new boat. So, it's disappointing. I don't know, I don't know what's going on here. That looks cobbled together. Figure it out. So we are still in the shipyard, but we are staying on the boat tonight because uh, I don't know why we're staying on the boat tonight. Hopefully, we get done tomorrow. We can splash the boat and start on our trip. It's cramped. We have four people, including myself, here. Four people total. And it sucks. There's no space to do anything. And uh, I'm eating a Pop-Tart. Because that's how you cope with your feelings. The word is we're supposed to leave tomorrow. But the rumor is it's not likely because i got a bunch of welding to do. Cloud welding. Oh, no the Z drives to fix some uh, cavitation erosion so we'll see what happens but this one week trip is turning into a two week trip we'll see what happens Pop-Tart Okie doke so it is Thursday we're still here in the shipyard we are still up on the dry dock, uh, and nobody knows what's going on. We're told, oh, you're leaving tomorrow morning, but I've heard that story before. I'm done here checking how much water we have. We've got about three quarters of our tank left, so maybe eight or nine hundred gallons. So, uh, I'm collecting spare parts before we 
head out, and one of the things I want to get before we leave are <clears throat> injectors for our Detroit generator here. Now they have different styles for different purposes. You can kind of see it there, kind of, not really. The little blue label on the side, it says N60. It correlates to how much fuel it can inject, I think. I'm gonna order one or two of those, and a few other things just to have we'll be in the middle of the ocean. There's no help. So, the only thing I still need to do is organize my workbench and throw the trash away. And then the engine row will be secured and ready to go. Everything is strapped down, except for that scrub brush that needs to go into a bucket. Other than that, we're, I'm waiting. Uh, today's Friday. Uh, Last word I got, we were supposed to splash today and leave. Um, but uh, I haven't been told that we're going down yet. Uh, and it's getting a little late in the morning, which means it's probably not gonna happen. Because if we were actually gonna be splashing down today, they'd be like, get all your shit ready, dry dock sink in here in two hours or something. But the lackadaisical attitude <coughs> means we'll probably be here through the weekend. So, I'm just down here cleaning up, getting things ready so that when we do go into the water, my shit's ready to go. As you can see, all my buckets are secured. Well, except for that one. Um, but I'll grab that here in a second, find some tools, take an inventory, put random shit away. Yeah, so, it's just little by little. You know, hopefully, one day we get out of prison, but good behavior doesn't go very far here. Six hours later. We uh, just shut off short power. We're getting ready to put the boat in the water and uh, I'm down here in the engine room getting, I'm gonna put all the uh, DC power back online for when we get power back to the boat so we can just start it up. I just went and turned basically everything off. So we need the ones with pluses. <laughs> Okie doke, so if I didn't catch them, I'll sort through and look for a few. Uh, we're gonna have a few minutes after we finally get in the water. 